Being in the media industry in Nigeria and across Africa is um, a very exciting time. Number one is I think the biggest part is how people are telling stories and the different stories we're telling. But I think also the most exciting thing is the role that digital media will have to play. And I'm, when I say digital media, I talk about social media. I'm talking about the fact that people are creating their own content, what YouTube is doing. So I feel that the, the most exciting thing is the way Africans are going to be telling the African story going forward. I mean, I think actually if you take something that actually happened recently, and so that is really the um, the hostage situation that happened in Nairobi, Kenya. So this was obviously something that was happening in Kenya, but it was people were able to see it from a multiple pers multiple perspectives right away. So, for example, from the traditional news outlets, you saw it, but then you also saw it from Facebook, and you were able to track what was happening on Twitter. And this is something that wasn't really easily available in Africa before the explosion of mobile phones. So not only was this an event that was confined to Kenya, it was an event that was felt all around um, Africa, but it was also an event that people were able to communicate and also console and also really have the information about who's, who's involved and where they are. But at the same time, it was also saying, okay, now that we have all this technology, how do we put a human face to this? And then there was these public appeals to say, look, can we please exercise some sort of decorum in disse disseminating this information? So I think that those are examples where there's a democratization of information and this distribution of information, but now how also do we self-censor ourselves? So I think those are some, gonna be some of the new things that we struggle with in this new exciting world of information and the distribution of information.